we have two more dates to remember. Salem was reoccupied on May 14th by the 10th Ohio Cavalry. And then it came to Saturday, May 20th. And we read from our local people's press for Salem of, uh, for Saturday, May 20th. Raising of the Stars and Stripes. This is the uh, May 27th, 1865 edition. Uh, raising of the Stars and Stripes by the uh, by, there we go, by the Union, uh, Union citizens of Forsyth County at the courthouse in Winston, N.C., Saturday, May 20th, 1865, 150 years ago. In obedience to the wishes and feelings of the loyal citizens of Forsyth County, Saturday the 20th of May was set apart to raise the Union flag which had, during four years of tyranny, under a bogus government, had been prohibited to float from the dome of the courthouse. That is, four years to the day, May 20. The hour at which the old banner should again be thrown to the breeze as a memento of the return of freedom and liberty was set at 3 p.m. Uh, that afternoon. At the appointed hour, the public square was filled with an immense crowd of at least 1,000 citizens to participate in the general joy. Mm -hmm. Thirteen girls between the age of five and 11 years, representing the old 13 states, were dressed in white festooned with flowers and evergreen sashes, etc., etc. Um, 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 each with a coat of arms of the United States on one side and a miniature likeness of Washington on the other with the words liberty and union now and forever one and inseparable. Who said that? Yeah, uh, Senator Webster in, uh, uh, in debate in, uh, 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 in, uh, in Congress. The Salem Brass Band, led by Captain Carmichael, were present by special invitation and occupied elevated seats in front. An address was then pronounced to the large audience assembled by Miss Mary A. Fountain, 11 years of age. At the close of the address, the flag was raised to its position 65 feet above the ground, the band playing the old national air the Star Spangled Banner amid a salute of 12 rounds from a six-pounder. The officers and men of the 10th Ohio, being present by invitation, then marched around the flag, saluting the little girls and the audience, and passed out of the square for dress parade and inviting the citizens to witness the scene. As the flag reached the top and spread its ample folds to its breeze, a shout went up that made the welkin ring. Ooh, people's press gets carried away for once. The joy was so overwhelming that many of the old and young shed tears of joy freely as cheer after cheer went up in honor of the occasion. It was the proudest day in the history of Forsyth County. One more day. The next day, May 21st, Sunday. The day of emancipation and this should be proclaimed as well. Sunday, May 21st, Max, uh, uh, Maximilian Grunert wrote in the African Church Diary, 
The church was crowded with colored people and a few whites. It having been known that the Reverend Mr. Clark, that's Seth G. Clark, of chaplain of the 10th Regiment Ohio Cavalry, would speak. The services were opened with singing whereupon Brother Grinard offered prayer. Mr. Clark then read his text, 1 Corinthians 7, 21 and 22. Art thou, being ca art thou ca called being a servant? Care not for it. For if thou mayest be made free, use it rather. Very appropriate text. And then Colonel uh, uh, Mr. Clark proceeded to read two general orders from General uh, Schofield dated Headquarters of the Army of the Ohio Raleigh NC, which the Provost Marshal had desired him to communicate to this congregation. In the first, it was made known that according to the proclamation of the President of the United States, the slave population of this state was now free. The second contained a number of regulations establishing temporarily the relations of this freed population. He then proceeded to give them good advice, told them that now they would have greater responsibilities, and encouraged them to industry, honesty, and piety. Brother Bonson closed with a few remarks the Lord's Prayer and singing. May this great change turn out to the eventual well-being of these people and the furtherance of the kingdom of God among them. The Day of Emancipation, May 21st, 1865, declared here in Salem, 100 and 50 years ago. Here in the